G'day folks, welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanna give you six reasons why the COVID-19 vaccine is not the mark of the beast. Now, I wanna be clear, I have not taken the COVID vaccine and I will never take the COVID vaccine simply because the media, the government and the healthcare system has been lying to me. They've been giving half truths to the public. They've been acting very shady, very deceitful. And also there's a lot of censorship and there seems to be a cult like brainwashing happening among the general public. And to me, that's a red flag, very suspicious. And I'm going to stay as far away from the COVID vaccine as I possibly can. Nevertheless, I want to give you six reasons reasons why the COVID-19 vaccine is not the mark of the beast. Number one, in order to have the mark of the beast, you need to have the beast itself. You need to have a beast before you can have the mark of the beast. A very simple, clear point, really, I think. And when you read Revelation 13, which introduces the beast to us, you see that the beast has a military power, so much so that he is unparalleled in strength and he has power over the whole earth. It's very clear. If we go to Revelation 13, beginning at verse 1, it says this, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And verse 4, And they worshipped the dragon, which is Satan, and gave power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? So it's very clear that the beast has a military strength, so much so that nobody is able to compete with him in military strength. Now, I don't think we've seen that. America certainly doesn't have that. You know, who, who can make war with him? Well, China can make war with America. Uh, and then it goes on in verse 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. So very clear here that he has power. The beast has power, military power over the whole world. I don't think we've seen that. We've just not seen that. China doesn't have that power. America doesn't have that power. The World Health Organization doesn't have that power. So therefore, without the beast actually coming, we can't have the mark of the beast. Pretty clear, really, I think. You don't have the mark of the beast until you actually have the beast. The second thing is that uh, the beast is worshipped. Worldwide worship of the beast. We've seen an allusion to that in verse 4. But then in verse 8, we read this. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So that seems pretty clear to me. You have a beast arise. Before you can have the mark of the beast, you have to have the beast itself. The beast has great military power and dominates the whole world without rival and then the beast is worshipped. I don't think we've seen that yet. Until we've seen that, we will not see the mark of the beast. Now, on top of that, we see that everybody worships the beast except for those who have their name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. But then there is a mass persecution of those that don't worship the beast. You see in verse 15, and he, referring to the false prophet, the second beast, had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So that means that all the Christians that refuse to worship the beast are hunted down and killed. I don't think we've seen that yet either. Very clear. That's the third reason why I don't think that the vaccine is the mark of the beast. Number four, in order to have the mark of the beast, the people need to be seduced into worshipping the beast by the false prophet, which is the second beast. Uh, an easy cross-reference with scriptures to do with the second beast and the false prophet will show you that they are one and the same. But it says in verse 11, And I beheld another beast, this is the second beast, coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, 
and he spoke as a dragon. Now, when it says he had two horns like a lamb, this is a false form of Christianity. This is probably Roman Catholicism, and I think that the first beast is the revived Roman Empire. Nonetheless, the interpretation still that I'm giving you should be accepted even if you disagree with that. It says, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he does great wonders so that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. So in order to have the mark of the beast, you need to have this second beast arise and deceive people by calling down fire from heaven in the sight of everybody that's watching. And he has to do great miracles to deceive the world into worshipping the first beast. We haven't seen that yet. We haven't seen that kind of miracle take place. Number five, there needs to be an angel in heaven in the sky warning the world not to take the mark of the beast. Revelation chapter 14 beginning in verse 6 and it says this, and I saw another angel. Now this is important here, it says another angel. This is not a street preacher, this is not a pastor, this is another angel and the previous reference in the book of Revelation prior to this of an angel was the seventh angel blowing the seventh trumpet. So therefore, this is a literal angel that's being spoken of here. It goes on and says, I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue, saying with a loud voice, fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come and worship him that made heaven and earth and sea and the fountains of water. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receives his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So before people even take the mark of the beast, there is first an angel that flies through heaven proclaiming the everlasting gospel. Then there is an angel that decrees the destruction of Babylon, which I think is the revived Roman Empire. And then third, there is an angel flying through heaven, warning everyone not to take the mark of the beast and telling them that if they do take the mark of the beast, they're going to go to the lake of fire forever. Now, I don't think any of that has happened. It's, it's very clear. There's no way around the text of Scripture. That sort of thing just simply has not happened. And so therefore, the COVID-19 vaccine cannot be the mark of the beast. Number six, it's very clear that you can't buy or sell without taking the mark of the beast. If we go to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, it says, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So it's very clear that when the mark of the beast comes, you won't be able to buy or sell without it. And I don't know about you, but I've been able to buy. I've been able to go to the supermarket. I've been able to go to the hardware store. I've been able to go to any shop I want to. I've had no problems whatsoever. And most people in the world have no problems going to the supermarket without taking the vaccine, even in the UK, in all of Europe, in America, Australia, uh, all over the world, you can still buy and sell without the vaccine. So therefore, uh, it's very difficult to, to reach the conclusion 
that the vaccine is the mark of the beast. And really, that passage was the only thing going for the argument. The only thing that people really had was that, you know, if you don't have the, the vaccine, you'll lose your job. That's about as close to this as you can possibly get. And it still falls well short of what scripture actually says. Now, I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up, hit the bell notification button, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll see you in the comment section and you'll see me in my next video.